The point of the trailer is to advertise the release and attract our target audience. We included hints about what the genre of the film is so people got an idea of what it is about. We used sound bites from the film to give an impression of what the film is about, as well as music and sound effects to set the tone and make it dramatic. We added a voice to give listeners the information they need about the film. We did all this in a way that does not give away major plot points, but still creates interest. Whilst we didn't give away the plot, we kept the same narrative structure. We began with a slow tempo, building up speed and intensity throughout to reach a climax and dramatic ending, which echoes the narrative of the film itself. Yes, we did that to inform potential viewers about Dead Eye. The article educates readers about our actress and the inspiration behind the creative process. We use screenshots from the film to illustrate the style and suggest the themes. Throughout the review, we have quotes from James, the director, and praise for our actress Kate. We designed the review to imitate others we'd seen. We did this through the use of columns of text by selecting one colour to highlight elements such as the headings and quotes. We chose orange to keep continuity with our website and to connotate Halloween and the horror genre. Many Hollywood producers screen draft edits of their film to test audience to collect feedback. This is important because it helps give an idea of the reaction the film is likely to get from a wider audience. It also helps find any major faults in the film such as whether the ending works. Early on in the process of our, making our film, we created an animatic and got feedback to see whether the general plot of the film worked. We found that several people described it as confusing because of the ambiguity of the plot, so in the actual film we tried to give a little more information about the character through a voiceover. This feedback also suggested that we make use of more props, particularly in the bedroom scene, to add more de detail and depth. The responses confirmed our ideas, such as the use of handheld cameras for the montage scene and the use of locations. The second feedback came after the screening of our first draft of the final film. We showed it to a small group of our target audience and asked them re relatively specific questions regarding editing, sound and the audience's personal responses. We got a very positive response about the editing techniques we used, which suggested that we achieved the desired effect. We asked people to explain the plot of the film and this time everyone seemed to have a m much better understanding, showing that we took on board the feedback from the animatic and altered it accordingly. Getting this feedback was useful as it highlighted areas where we needed to make slight improvements or changes such as extending the voiceover to give the audience more explanation about the reasons behind her visit to the hypnotist. Overall, we gathered an extremely encouraging response from our test audience.